hi guys welcome back to another short photoshop tutorial uh, in today's tutorial i will show you guys how to remove these uh, purple and blue line effects uh, from your photos uh, if you have used your smartphones to take this kind of similar images especially tree branches or far away distant objects chances are you will be seeing these lines purple and especially the purple lines and these green lines uh, in your pictures uh, the reason for these things to appear is because of the re reflection or inside your lens which is uh, different angles with different wavelengths and your camera is a failure to focus and put those colors in right places you guys can look it up in the internet uh, by searching chromatic abstraction for more reason why this is affecting if you are interested but anyway in this tutorial i will focus i will show you guys how to edit these uh, parts and remove completely using adobe illustrate uh, sorry adobe photoshop uh, you guys can also do the same thing in adobe lightroom also so let's get started it's very easy guys it's just go to filters and go to camera raw filter so this file can be a camera raw file or normal jpeg file doesn't matter you can use this filter to change these things okay first we uh, zoom into those places which are mostly affected as you guys can see here and then uh, we go to lens correction this one here uh, keep in mind guys this is adobe uh, this is camera raw uh, version 3 so your settings may look different so to get this is the latest version as of now so you, you may need to update to get these similar settings so you go to uh, cam lens correction and in here uh, you can see there is a uh, difference which is purple amount and green amount these are the settings we are going to play with to change these settings first we work with the purple color so you can see the purple amount so we are going to defringe the purple amount by increasing this value so let's increase let's here when we start increasing it started to disappear and four percent five this is completely gone you can still see some of them here so we can increase this also you can change the range here which is going to affect and if you change the range you can see some of them are disappearing if you want to take out these blue parts some of these blue parts you see you can bring the blue part a bit the range this is just a range of colors you are going to take out all right so this is gone now we are going to work with the green color but before the green color you, you guys have to see this image itself a green color which we need so we need to keep the range at the correct place uh, so we need to remove this screen here so i think we have to bring this one a bit here little bit towards the blue and let's increase the green amount so uh, as you can see it's nicely disappearing okay so it's totally gone and you still can see some of the bluish color looking things here which you can increase the amount for the blue you can see it start disappearing nicely all right so all of them totally gone so you can play with the range you can go other places and see whether it's affecting as far as i can see all the places okay here you can see there is a red color is here which is which is not gone to to this to make it gone what we need to do is bring this one a bit towards the reddish color and you can see it's almost gone it's all gone so you can also increase the increase a bit okay now it's totally gone and here you can see the purple still there uh, this is i think is not because of the same effect but you can also use this filter to remove this but to remove this i think we have to bring a lot more than nine percent we can try if it's not affecting others okay it's gone actually when i bring 100 percent it's totally gone but keep in mind some photos when you bring it and un bring it to like all 20 percent here it may affect other places 
okay so now our image is totally gone so when you zoom in we are in like very zoom zoomed in so that's why it's appearing like this anyway so all look perfectly fine so let's apply the filter so okay now you guys can see it's totally gone so this is before this is after the filter after the filter before and after the filter all right guys so that's it so when we bring 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 it to zero hundred uh, percent and you guys can see see the difference right now so that's it guys it's very easy within two steps you can remove all these type uh, all these uh errors from your camera and you can uh, do the same thing in adobe lightroom also using the same camera raw filter Alright guys, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.